Welcome back guys, this is Jake from Jake's Offshore Adventures. We have a super cool episode for you guys today. Um, I have my good buddy Nick out from Bimini Bahamas visiting to come down and try to shoot a couple wahoo. Um, we started off the day going to a couple wrecks looking for wahoo. The current really wasn't moving so much so um, we ended up shooting a couple other fish and uh, later on we uh, ended up seeing a real nice wahoo. So uh, sit back, relax and enjoy the episode guys. So as you guys can see from that line uh, being straight up and down, there is absolutely zero current. So uh, we're just sitting over the wreck waiting for something good to swim by. There wasn't too much bait or life so my hopes really weren't high for seeing any wahoo today. So main focus was do a couple dives on the wreck and see what we see. I'm throwing out a few grunts here and trying to attract uh, any fish, maybe yellow jacks, African pompano, or permit into the area. And uh, as soon as I kind of level out here and check out the wreck, which is pretty pretty cool, there's a nice American flag on it. I hear Nick's gun go off, and for sure I thought he shot a wahoo, but I looked up and he shot a really nice permit. Um, it ended up being his personal best permit uh, he's ever shot, so he couldn't resist. <coughs> So this permit heads straight towards the wreck, which is not really ideal. These fish like to wrap themselves up in the wreck. So Nick was trying real hard to keep, keep it off the wreck by holding tension on that reel line. I saw he was struggling, so I swam over there to help grab the line for him and start pulling on the fish. It doesn't take long for uh, sharks to show up. Those permit are pretty much a big dinner bell for those sharks around this area. Um, so it was definitely going to be a fight for this fish. Yo, pull. Usually the sharks are going a little bit more crazy than this. Um, one of them was kind of staying around 50 feet and the other one was chasing the permit around down deep on the wreck. And lucky enough, the one that was staying up top, you saw, kind of got spooked from the real line touching it. And it went down to join its buddies to go try to get that fish. And the permit right here actually decides to swim right up to us to the surface for protection. And we were able to land this fish. Bro, it's a big one. <laughs> Just put it off the back of the boat. Jay, put this up front and start coiling the line up front, okay? Nice shot. Dude, I just heard the shot call. I thought, I thought you were trying to walk. I had to do it, bro. I just saw it, bro. So it was a pretty good start to the day. Um, Nick shot the permit and we just got back in the boat to get all of our lines untangled and get this fish in the cooler. Here, uh... <laughs> well, that's funny. So a couple drifts later, 
Uh, we had a real nice wahoo come up behind us and Steph saw it and it was kind of closer to Nick so she called over to Nick and said there's a wahoo behind him and all he had to do was do a little duck dive and put a shot in it. He ended up shooting this fish in the spine um, which is what we call spining the fish and what it does is it kind of stops the fish from moving anywhere. It's still alive so he reeled it in and quickly put the knife in it securing his first wahoo. Hey, let's get some underwater videos real quick. Yeah, super happy Nick got this fish, you know, we weren't really expecting to see any wahoo So when this guy showed up, we definitely capitalized on it and uh, it ended up being the only wahoo We saw that day. So we ended up going south and uh, going to another wreck to see if we can try to shoot a couple African pompanos at sunset I just saw him turn around. I keep 360 and he turned around She saw him and then oh, it didn't even go through <laughs> Wow I stoned him though, I spined him. So we're at our next spot here. I'm just doing a nice little breathe up before I go down. Um, on my way down, I threw out a couple grunts and some African pompanos came in. I turned my camera on just in time to get the shot. And right there you see me put the shot in the African pompano and you saw a few swimming away as well. So this fish started taking off. There was really nothing I can do. These fish pull really hard, so I couldn't stop it from swimming down. And you see Nick there try to help me pull it up. And not too much later, a shark shows up, and you guys will see what happens next. Big AP. So the shark shows up and I'm pulling as hard as I can but that shark gets a hold of that African pompano's tail and rips it right off and once it got the taste of blood it was all over from there. No. No. Pretty sad to see. The shark actually also took my slip tip, so I had to get back on the boat and switch guns and hope to see those fish again. So a couple drops later, I had Nick go down, make a couple grunts mm -hmm. to call him in. And on his way up, he saw him coming in, so I turned my GoPro on and made a drop. So these ones came in and I took my time to really try to get a good shot on this fish and luckily I stoned it so this one was secured and wasn't going to the sharks. So I tried to let Nick pull this one in since I pulled in his permit. He actually had some hand surgery, so um, I was trying to let him have a little fun here. Um, right here, he's kind of getting wrapped up in the line. Um, usually when you pull in these fish, no matter if they're alive or dead, um, you want to kind of be swimming forward and pushing that line behind you as you're pulling it up to kind of avoid this. 
But luckily, the fish wasn't fighting, and there was no sharks in the area, so we were okay. You didn't see the point thing when you dove? Oh, yeah, that's why. Yes. I told you, that's why. I said, call him in so we can go down and dive. That's teamwork. And everyone loves a good high five after a good fish. It was really nice to get those fish in the boat after losing that first one. So really made our day, had a really nice cooler and decided to do a couple more drifts to get Steph on one, but didn't really see any after that. So decided to go back in. I saw them, I was like, woo! So that's it for today, guys. Thanks again for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed and uh, we'll see you next time. Remember, if you're in the Florida Keys and you're looking to go spearfishing, give me a call. We run charters down here in Isla Mirada, and we would love to have you out. Hope to see you guys soon.